Hidalgo County District Attorney Rene Guerra is holding his election campaign's victory party tonight. Since day one, this case has been treated as an unsolved hit and run accident. However, during the last decade, the Paredes family hasn't been happy with the results of this investigation. Police were able to seize cocaine, crack cocaine, barbiturates, several bongs, and even the latest and most dangerous inhalants to hit the streets. Even with the water level this high, it's still not a mandatory evacuation. La Grulla police have been visiting local neighborhoods, advising people to get out. At least 25 families have left their homes behind. Mr. Villarreal, the victim, has been identified as a street-level drug dealer and was known to store cash and drugs inside the home. These two Texas military force helicopters remain on standby and are ready to provide support to any area that may suffer potential catastrophic flooding. An arrest warrant has been issued for a woman who interfered with the custody of her own child. We spoke to Mercedes police and the six-year-old's father who say they need your help to find her. Mercedes police search for six-year-old Mia Elizabeth Flores has come to a standstill. She's been missing since August 2008. That's when police say her biological mother took her away after losing her custody as a result of her divorce. Community activists say Border Patrol raids strike fear and panic in immigrant communities. Border Patrol agents say they're just doing their job. Currently, Border Patrol is, is working as we always have. Our mission is to patrol our, our nation in between our nation's borders, and we continue to do that on a daily basis. They need to focus in on what their job is, and that is catching criminals.